Video games have always been a part of my life. I grew up in a household where we bonded over gaming, and that's how we spent most of our free time. The earliest game I remember playing was one of those Atari joystick games that had Spider-Man on it. Back then, games were simply a fun pastime for our family, but they have become so much more for me. Let me tell you why. When I was nine years old, my mother passed away. I still remember the day as vividly as when it happened. I was in fourth grade, playing cool math games on a Friday at the end of the day. Little Dom, being as excited as he was to get out of school for the weekend, was oblivious to anything bad that could be happening in the world. With that being said, my dad picked me up from school early, but not for a good reason. He told me the news that she had passed and my heart broke. Now I don't mean to be a total Debbie Downer, so this is Dom stepping in just to let you know that I'm fine now. At the time, Pokemon was my thing, and it just so happened that Pokemon Omega Ruby came out the same day that my mother had passed. I felt that in some way, this was the world giving me something to make that day a little brighter. After that, Pokemon has always had a special place in my heart, and has been something that takes my mind away to another world of essentially no worries, but that's not the end of the story, as there's another game that will always hold a special place in my heart. About a year or so after the ordeal with my mother happened, I would healed more, but I was still a reclusive person because that's the way I had dealt with my feelings back then. At this point in my life, my dad had bought me a PS4, and I had played some games but none that I really got into. However, on September 15th, 2015, Destiny the Tank King came out. Now I had played Destiny before and really liked it, but I only played the demo where you run around in this place called the Cosmodrome. However, with this new expansion that came out, I convinced my dad to buy this game for me. So we went to GameStop and all that good stuff, and I finally got home to play this new game. I turn on my PS4 and put the Destiny disc in. That glorious music flares up and 11 year old Dom is mesmerized. All the distraction and burdens of the outside world just disappeared. I was fully immersed. The tile screen was there in front of me on my Vizio TV, beckoning me to start the game. I built my character and chose my class, Hunter by the way, and waited for the game to load. I load in on Phobos and see the massive landscape, yet to be explored. Commanders of Allah and Eris Morn explain what I should be doing, and I go on, slaying Cabal with light powers and cool guns. I was extremely immersed and this was the beginning of my addiction to Destiny, a game I still play today. As a result of playing a massive MMO game like Destiny, I made some great friends that I played other games with too. Since socializing was hard for me during this period, having friends to hang out with online was one of the best things that could have happened to me. Unfortunately I don't talk to these friends anymore, but I did play other games with them like Minecraft or Black Ops 3 and I'm extremely thankful for how they were there for me without even knowing it. They helped me cope with the bad reality that I was in. Along with having great friends online, and a game like Destiny that I could pour hours into, four months by the way, <laughs> it made it so much easier to cope with the stressful emotions I had going on in reality. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not totally sure why I made this video, but I reckon it can count as an homage to how much gaming has changed my life for the better. Um, I, I kind of thought about making this a scientific video and giving everyone else's perspectives and uh, how, like, as a science, video games can help you cope. But um, I, I figured I'd just give my own personal excerpt, and I thought maybe kind of like give my witness to how um, gaming helped me cope. And I hope some others can relate to it and find peace in that. But um, thank you guys for watching, and thank you Bungie for making a great game like Destiny that allowed me to cope when I didn't know how else to. Thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you in the next one. Peace.